All right, you guys might recognize my guest today. If you've seen my videos, I'm sure you've seen his as well. I've got Ryan Meeks with me with Escape to Arizona. Um, Ryan and I had a chance to meet recently, and we thought, why don't we collaborate? Collab and video? Throw, throw a video together. So here we are. We are in downtown Old Town Scottsdale, just just off of Scottsdale Road here in the Civic Center section. And uh, yeah, Greg, thanks for having me, my man. We're ready to- it's a, uh, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. We might have a little noise in the background, but we're here <laughs> to talk about why people live in Arizona and and some good and some bad. Some good, some bad. But but I wanted to bring Ryan's perspective in here because Ryan, you've, you've been here how long now? Now I've been here six, seven years, somewhere yeah. in between there. And, and I've lost track of time actually, because uh, you know, it's it's, just man the years are just flying by you know people getting older kids getting older it's it's crazy but the time flies especially when you have kids yeah i've noticed um that that makes a big difference and where did you come from came from chicago so some of you might not might know my story but uh came from chicago and you know like everybody else you know wh why are you moving here it's either going to be because of work relocation um it's going to be to get away from what you don't like um, or it could be health issues, could be following family. So the reason that we moved here was specifically um, to get away from Illinois and uh, taxes yeah. and the weather and all that stuff. So yeah. it's uh, it's definitely been a, a dream come true here. So, well, that's good to know because I, you know I come from a perspective of being out here for thirty years, and I talk about it all the time, like. You're you're out here long enough, and the summers do start to wear on you. And there's other things about living in Phoenix that kind of can be challenging. A lot of people talk about it. You've probably seen a ton of videos on it, but it helps to kind of share a perspective of somebody maybe haven't hasn't been here as long and is coming from something else. Because I don't know how many people we talk to that are like, "Hey, I get that it's hot, and I get that there might be this challenge or that challenge, but I have a lot more challenges that I'm dealing with." So you can probably speak to that a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean coming from Chicago so our challenge was you know we our challenge was we had the kids uh, pretty much locked inside all winter long yeah. and for us that was difficult or you know how old was how old are kids? your kids so kids let me let me think about this yeah 10 9 and 6 yeah so don't ask me what year they're born though because <laughs> then then I'll have to do some backwards yeah. math here but um yeah so, so they were little when you moved here they yeah, yeah. they were little now they're you know, obviously uh, do the math on that, but they are, it was just so tough, you know, yep. in the winters there. And- um, Did you have your third when you moved? No, the third was back there as well. So okay. she was yeah. she was like two when we moved um, or, or one, I guess, but it, yeah, she was one. So it, barely one. And uh, yeah, so we just, we had to get out. We had to get, the winters were just wearing on us. And then also um, taxes were a little tough too. And something else I didn't tell you was that, uh, you know, my fiance at the time, her her parents were on a fixed income. So for them to continue paying their taxes, they did own their home, but to continue paying their taxes on that home was going to be really difficult. So yeah. we were sort of looking for a, uh, you know, lesser cost of living. And um, luckily in, you know, 2016, 2017 found that. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and I mean, completely different environment back in 2016, 2017. So I'm glad you're, or, or um, I, I would imagine you're glad you made the move when you did. Yeah. Uh, definitely different times. Our house has now doubled in price and it's something that I don't like to brag about or, you know, seem pompous about, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of sad, but um, it's just where our market's gone with everybody wanting to move here. And I mean, if I was trying to move here right now from Chicago, it would be a totally different story. Yeah. Definitely would be, um, you know, I, I think our house was 360 when I bought it and it's gone up to about 700,000 yeah. right now. And um, yeah, we're just blessed that we made the move and, and I, I call it my psychic abilities that I was able to see, hey, we need to get to a better living situation. And, uh, you know, we, we all know what's happened in the past few years and why people have been moving here. So yeah, definitely lucky to get out here. And, I, and, and even though, I mean, you know, obviously we've had the crazy, you know, things happen with the housing market here with price increases, inflation happening everywhere. So we're, we know that we're not the only ones here that are going through these challenges and the people that are moving here now are still having those kind of same challenges from where they're coming from. So, um, I, you know, you talk to 
just as many people as I do. And we, we, we are constantly having these conversations of the reasons why. And it's not as easy as it was for many people. A lot of people are having to yeah. try to figure out if it makes sense. But so from a financial point of view, but also from a point of view as like, is Arizona actually going to be a good fit for you? You talked about the getting away from the cold. What's the biggest difference from dealing with having to deal with the freezing temperatures all the time and now coming into a situation where we've got the summer heat that you know can keep you inside as well just in a different type of situation yeah so that's been the thing i think we're most surprised about and and that you guys need to know and uh i mean greg and i you know we, we wanted to put this video together and i guess we're calling it why why do we live in arizona and um i mean one of the biggest challenges is definitely the summers here uh, and and you guys have heard it on on every video i'm sure but what you'll realize it, it's it's and i think we talked about this before is that it's difficult with kids just as it's difficult in uh illinois or somewhere that has snow to stay in all winter someone just sent me a picture by the way i think they're in nebraska and it is snowing there it's yeah. insane they sent it to me and they they have a new build coming up we're at the end of october currently end right of october now. yes so we're we're getting into the uh this is beautiful out here we we love it so um so the biggest challenge has been the summers for sure makes it a lot easier if you have a pool you know one thing i would recommend if i can just keep yeah. going with yeah. it is um we got like a, a membership to elevate which is a trampoline club it was or a trampoline place uh and it was 25 bucks per kid per month so not cheap yeah. no doubt about it kids are able to go there we spend hours there we're supposed to stay there for two hours but we just stay for like six so that those memberships are huge though and we yeah. do kind of the same thing and i my kids are four and one i've got two daughters four and one and it is it, it is hard because we try to go to the spend a little bit of time in the pool during the summer but that only lasts for a certain period of time you tend uh, to get sick of it yeah and so you have to plan your days around what you can do in the morning and what you can do in the evening and we have, we have like zoo membership um, we end up doing like a butterfly wonderland exhibit, uh, membership and stuff like that. So you find, find places that you can kind of maximize your spend. If right. you know, you can go there on a regular basis. So there, there are things you can do, but it's draining. Yeah, it is. So no doubt about it. And there's no sugar coating it. it, it it's a, it's a tough time of year. And, um, one thing I would say is if you're moving down here, try to find some resources to get out of the heat in the summer. So maybe, you know, uh, look at what vacations cost up to Pine, up to Sedona, up to Flagstaff. There's a lot of places you can travel to in the summer. So you'll find that a lot of people do actually leave completely in the summer. I have a, my sister-in-law's down here and she leaves in the summer. She just can't take yeah. it. She goes back to Chicago. She's got a business there. And then they end up like RVing all around the country. Yeah. And, and granted, you have to have the means to do that. I'm not saying sure. everybody can just yeah. pick up and leave. I mean, people have to work and have jobs. I, I haven't stuff, been able to so. do it yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, neither have I. So it's, 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 uh, but, but there are a lot of people that do yeah, that. Yeah. Sure. And you're just like, how do they just pick up and leave? But they're yeah. gone. So that well, would be something to look into. Ryan, as we walk through and kind of talk through some of the positives, like it is one of those things. Have you ever had, since you've been here, has there ever been a time where you're like, either I made a mistake or maybe the Phoenix area isn't right for you? Cause you know, I talk about it all the time with my wife and I, we have those challenges during the time where it's like, is it right for us moving forward? And then I always circle back and I'm like, Hey, th there's no better place. But what about you? So I have thought about leaving. I think it's something that everybody thinks about, especially when they make a move. And uh, with me and my family, the one thing we don't like, and we're doing it right now, is the walkability score. So I'm just, in Gilbert, there's not a whole lot of places where you can just walk to a place like this. And right now we're in the Civic Center of Scottsdale. And if you yeah. live two blocks away, that's great. You can come out here, enjoy all this. We do have some walking trails in my community of Power Ranch, which I think makes up for it. But it's not like you can just walk and get a cup of coffee yeah. or you can walk and go grocery shopping or anything like that. Let's go right, right here. But it's, um, you know, it's, it still works for us, but we really do sort of miss just being able to walk and where we used to live, get a slice of pizza. Um, back when I was a kid, rent a videotape, <laughs> but, uh, that's the one thing I'd say I, I miss the most. You, you, it's a good point because you bring up, cause it's like, there are so many different areas of, across the Valley here going into the East Valley, West Valley. Um, yeah. I live 
you know, 10 minutes away in lower Arcadia here. It, and there, it's just a different environment depending on where you go. Um, so, you know, but it, it, when you talk about walk, walkability, I think it's hard because a lot of people think of walkability where they're coming from in an area where it's like you've got everything around you and you can definitely just wherever you want to go, you're within five, 10 minutes and it's, it, it's yeah. easy to do. We don't have that in too many areas. Right. There's certain little pockets that have it and that offer it, but it's hard to, it's hard to have here. You definitely need a car. Here. Yeah. You know, things you can do here, you can do things like hitting <laughs> up the Segway tour here in Scottsdale. One of my favorite things that I haven't done yet. And, uh, you know, you're not going to completely sweat yourself out doing it. So hello. How y'all doing? Hi. We'll be on Fox news. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not CNN. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, definitely a lot more outdoor activities here. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about is the hiking that you can do here. Now, what we plan on doing is every Friday going hiking somewhere new and just experiencing some new trails. And uh, in the summer, though, one thing that you can't do is hike, especially with flip flops, because you're going to have to get rescued off of a mountain. It's happened quite a few times. But it only happened once to me, Ryan. <laughs> only happened once to Greg. So, what, I one like thing, my flip flops. One thing you can do is, as I'm looking down, he's not wearing flip flops today, thank the Lord. I'll tell you guys what, when I get older and my kids are all grown up, this is going to be the spot that I'm at. There's so much to do around here. It is crazy. We have AZ88 right over here. We love going there late night if we uh, got a babysitter. A lot of bars, Old Town restaurants. Tavern. Old Town right Tavern right over here, somewhere behind me. But just plenty of stuff to do here in Scottsdale. And uh, really, if you this don't... Is, this is my favorite place to be in March. March March is like really the best month in Arizona yeah, for, for so sure. many reasons. And uh, uh, anytime I think about the best reasons for living here, March is on my mind just with everything going on, with spring training going on, with... Um, all the events, it's a, it's a lot of traffic. The traffic really is uh, challenging in February, March time frame because of all the people that are here, but there are a lot of fun events. Every, every place is booming, it's fun. Um, there's a lot of fun places to be. I don't get to do as many as I used to now that I have uh, two little ones, but man, I've got a lot of great memories hanging out and, and uh, coming down here. All right, Ryan, one of the things I wanted to kind of uh, touch base on as we've been talking and kind of going through s sharing some stories on our end with um, a lot of the people who've reached out. Have you ever had anybody who ended up um, coming, making the move here and maybe regretted making the decision? Because we talked to so many people. There's a lot of different stories. It's not always perfect. Do you, do you have anybody that um, has gone through that? Yeah. So I have a client uh, that moved out here and he's from Minnesota moved out uh, in 2021. So September of 2021, pretty difficult time to purchase. And as the prices were going up for homes, he kept having to move his search out further and further and yeah. further. Yeah. And uh, what's pretty much a norm here is the further you get from the Phoenix metropolitan area, the lower the prices are going to be on homes. So right. yeah, he lived here for, I want to say about a year and then reached back out to me. And, you know, we had been in communication. I like to say I keep in touch with my clients and uh, great, great family, love yeah. them to death. And after about a year, he he decided, you know, it just wasn't for them. So where, where did they end up going when they came out here? So when they moved out here, they moved to Magma Ranch, which is pretty much kind of on the Santan Valley Florence border. It's got yeah. a Florence address, but it's actually considered Santan Valley. I used, familiar? To, I used to work yeah. there for uh, back in 2005. <laughs> so you know, yeah. the, you know the spot, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. That's far. So, so it's definitely, uh, I, I feel like it's a challenge because the further you are away from urban areas yep. living out here you know in the summertime you know just imagine your house being around nothing um obviously you have neighbors he was in a community with a community yeah. pool but there's just not a whole lot to do so i think that played a part in uh ultimately the demise of their decision to to move out here and it was really sad to have that happen and you know you hate misleading somebody in that situation or feeling like the content you put out isn't uh you know, isn't factual. So, so you start I think, doubting That's yourself, a good point because you know? we, we, we talk about that a lot. And, and a lot of, you know, there's so many people who are watching our content, trying to figure out what's a good place for them, what's the best neighborhoods, areas, where to buy, what, what people can't afford. So you've got a, a, so many factors to kind of put into place. But there are like just communities that are way on the outskirts that might not may, maybe necessarily give you what you think you need 
even though they've got some of the newer homes and newer communities and uh, some of the things that look good in photos, but might not turn out the way people expect. Location, 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 right? So really when you are moving, you know, in that case, I think if they, and, and that's another thing too, budget wise, um, you know, it just, things were yeah. going up so quickly and you found people in 2020, 2021 purchased homes and a lot of them regret the decisions that they've made, but you just had to get people, if they were relocating, right. you had to get them into homes. You had to go over appraised value. You had to waive a lot of contingencies. So there's a lot of, a lot of people that are stuck now with golden handcuffs at, yep. you know, two and a half, three, four percent. And then they're also stuck with a home that maybe wasn't the best home for them. But man, when you're running and gunning and you got people from California moving out here going 200,000 over appraised value, a little it's bit hard. extreme. Yeah, it's it's a difficult market. And, and, and a lot of know, people have gone through that too. I, I, I went through that same situation at that same time because back back then my, my wife and I, we were, we were trying to figure out um, uh, a home to purchase maybe up in like Flagstaff and before before the boom hit. And then we started making offers and we got blown out of the water. We weren't even close. We couldn't compete. And trust me, I think we felt the pain of like so many people who are coming out here going through the same thing because, you know, there's a lot of people that have the means to do it and, and totally understand when people are like, hey, this is where we want to be. So, but I do feel for a lot of the people who um, went through the challenges of not being able to compete because yeah. I was in the same boat. As we kind of move around a little bit, um, I, I want to say, I mean, this is, this has been fun. It's been, uh, it's been good kind of cruising around and this, I love this area, but I want to talk to people about, uh, some other, uh, pros because we talk about the weather being the big pro and big con, but one of the other main things that I think people really like about living here in Phoenix. And one of the reasons why people choose to live here is because of the diversity on how, where, where you can go within a couple hours. And when I say that, it's like, we well, got, Northern Arizona, whether that's Flagstaff, Sedona, um, going up to Prescott, going into the White Mountains. Um, there's a lot of diversity. I don't know if you guys have spent a lot of time kind of covering ground in Arizona, in and out of Arizona. So we've been to, yeah, we've been up north, getting out of the heat and stuff. Yeah. We've been up to Flagstaff, Sedona. Every year we've been making a, a trip out of the North Pole experience in Flagstaff. Yeah. I think we're done with that though. The kids are getting a little bit, okay. it's, it's kind of the same deal. I haven't year. done that yet. So you have yeah. to tell me oh, how yeah. it is. Oh yeah, it's fun. Yeah. So I have a video of it on my YouTube I'll, channel. I'll watch that. So, you know, that's been great. Um, and then, you know, Sedona is always nice. I mean, Sedona, is, it, it feels almost like a tourist trap, though. So you got to really get there at the right time. It's um, busy, but it, it's like nowhere else you've seen. It, and it doesn't it really, even feel like you're in Arizona. You're like, it's like driving into another dimension. Yeah. And, and really, Sedona, I mean, that that land, they shouldn't have even allowed homes to be built on. And they allowed it. And the people that live there are just so lucky because that is a great location. So Sedona's awesome. Uh, Ryan, Ryan will not sell a home because he's totally against it there. So if you yeah, want to buy so, in Sedona, you call me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. So that's uh, that's great. Uh, Vegas is five out, four or five hours away. I'd say more four hours. Uh, San Diego, same deal, four or five hours. Equidistant is Vegas, so it's forty-five minutes. Ryan. Forty-five minutes flight. In yeah, there. if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna fly. So that's another great thing is that you can really. Uh, yeah, you can, you can get everywhere you need to go pretty quickly. And uh, I know you like going down to Rocky Point. I wish I, I made it down there more, but I, you know. I do. I, I'm a big fan of Rocky Point. I've gone down there 30 plus times and uh, just, just bringing the family down there recently with the two little ones. And a lot of people, a lot of people wonder, um, you know, is it safe to go down the Rocky Point? I've done a couple of videos on it. We love it. Yeah. We love it. And, um, and it's, it's, that's a whole other conversation as far as that goes, but it, it, it kind of speaks to some of the benefits because um, even though the summers can be brutal here, there are a lot of places to get away to kind of break up the monotony of what we have to go through. So obviously there's some pros and cons to living here. There's some things you got to think about before you make the move. But Craig, why, why do you love, uh, because obviously we love living here or we'd live somewhere else. We do have the means to do that. But why do you love living here? Yeah, I think, and that boils down to the, the begin the, the, the question that we talked about in the beginning. Why do we live here in Phoenix? And, um, and I, look, I, there's a lot of things I love and there's a lot of things that I'm not a fan of. But um, when I do all of the when I, when I take the time to like research other places that I could live and I'm like, okay, uh, yes, I like that. Yes, I like that. Yes, I like that. I think about all the other reasons that I might not like about moving here. And then I'm like, oh shit, I guess, uh, and I excuse my language, but like, I, I always come back to like, I don't know if there's a better place that I would rather be. 
And um, I hate the summers. I, I'll be honest. I just don't like being here during the summer. And it's hard with kids. But when I do the math on whether or not it makes sense to move anywhere else, I just don't see a better place because of all the positives that we have. And it's easy to live here for 30 years and complain about it. Um, you know, I, so yeah, I'm surprised I, you're yeah. I'm surprised you're. There's very few natives, right? And I'd almost yep. call Greg a native because he's been here for so long. So um, it's just because everything's growing so rapidly. Gilbert, for instance, had what? Uh, I, I think Gilbert's doubled since 2010. I was just looking at statistics on Gilbert, Arizona, which yeah. now has 280,000 people. So, you know, chances are you're going to run into somebody that's relocated here. And, uh, you know, there's a reason behind the fact that people are, um, you know, they're, they're not natives because everybody loves coming here, living here. So it's, yeah. it's just, it's great. What? Definitely. So the thing I love about living here and, and, you know, we had the choice to, we checked out San Diego and then we checked out here and that was before, well, I, I guess California's always been a little, little, little crazy. Um, and I hear that from my clients more so, <laughs> not from my own observations, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, the cost of living here just seemed to work out a lot better, even though home prices are expensive. Uh, the pros outweigh the cons in terms of the home prices, where we're at, the weather. Yes, we got to deal with the summer for a little bit, but definitely, definitely the place to be. I mean, I'm looking so forward to just these next uh, six, seven months where, you know, we're just going to enjoy life. And I, I have to pinch myself a lot and, and I get goosebumps every time, you know, I see the McDowell Mountain Range in the background and going hiking this Friday uh, to some beautiful uh, mountain ranges. I mean, couldn't do that in Illinois unless you went to Starve Rock or something. But uh, it's it's just a dream living here, and and you know, bless that, bless that I made the move when I did, and and here I am. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here, and uh, I'm glad we had a chance to collaborate, make a video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to reach out to us. Um, and if you want to see any future content, then make sure to check out both of our channels, and we're going to leave a video up in the link above. Make sure to check that out if you want to know more information about living here in Phoenix.